Hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how we pack the lorry for an overnight show. I'm gonna be showing you what we keep in the lorry all the time, and then also what we add to it for the overnight ones. So in this locker is the grooming kit and the plaiting kit, and we always keep these in the lorry for like when we go for lessons or just day shows. Um, so this is our grooming kit. Oh. So it's got loads of different compartments. Oh, and this is um, our spare curd chains because I've lost these in the bedding before and the clips and then never found them again. So I always carry spares. Um, so we keep those in there. And then we have things like hoof oil, um, fly spray, scissors, and then all the brushes um, and a body brush in there. And then we have the numbers for um, when we compete because you have to wear two numbers. So we've got those. Um, what else do we have in here? <laughs> you won't be able to see what that is, but that's oil, like glistening oil. Um, to put on their muzzle and stuff. And then I think that's quarter marker spray to make sure that when we do our, their quarter markers that it stays on nicely. Um, and that's about everything. Oh, hoof pick. Uh, so that is the grooming kit. Um, and then we have some saddle cleaner for when we are away at shows and we need to clean the tack. We don't actually have any stallions, but we have these discs in case we need to, um, in case we ever have a stallion, because you need to put those on. I'll put those in there. Um, what else do we have? These are actually takeout boxes, now filled with sugar. Handy little tip. Um, and WD-40, because you never know when you need it. That's come in handy for like, when we go to sh away shows and we need them for the stables and stuff, if the bolts are a bit sticky. And then here, sorry, I have to move some stuff. Here is our plashing kit. So, oh. In here, we, I really feel like I needed to tidy this before we did it, but anyway. In here, so this is the plaiting comb, so you can comb the mane through and then grip the other part so it doesn't get in the way. Here are our plaiting bands. Um, I sometimes at the big shows sew in the plaits, so they're the needles and also safety pins because I always need those. Another curb chain, you can see I'm a bit paranoid about that. Um, and then in the bottom is just loads of thread and more spares. So that is the passing kit. Um, when I plait at home for the normal shows, I just take it off, do the plaiting, and then put it back in. So that's that. What else do we have in here? Um, we have a lot of treats. I wish you guys could smell these because they're absolutely amazing. So these are a different varieties of treats. I always tell mum never to give those because they don't look very good when we're competing. So we always try and use these ones. What else do we have in here? Honestly, this drawer, it's like, you always have that cupboard that you keep everything in. This is the, this is the one. Um, we have some veterinary stuff as well down here. So we have um, like electrolytes. We have some eye cream in case they hurt their eye. And we always carry like vet wrap and stuff in case they have any injuries or anything while they're away. Again, if they have, we won't compete them. It's just to get them home nice and safe. Um, in the top shelf, we have a spare numner. Let's bear white number, I don't know why that's there. Um, and then some rugs. So again, at the moment the lorry is just packed for like going for lessons and day shows. So that would just be if it was a little bit cold and they needed to, um, yeah, have an extra rug. Oh, and this is a chain in case the horsey gets a bit excited. Um, yeah, just again for like safety reasons. Whoa. And that's about it in here. Oh, and hooks for when we go away to shows. So mum uses these on me when I've ridden badly. <laughs> Are you joking? Um, so these are farrier tools for if they've half pulled their shoe off or if the shoe's falling off and we need to pull a nail off, we always keep these. Um, we have loads of little spare things for just in case, but I think it's really important, especially when you're staying away, to have like backups and everything that you need just to stay safe. So next one is the tack locker. Um, so this obviously gets packed on the day of the show because we didn't want to leave our tack um, overnight in the lorry or anything. But in here at the moment, so um, this is the one when we go to um, like day shows or just lessons. For example, I went to a lesson yesterday. Um, we just have the um, normal numbers for when I have the lessons and then when 
it comes to the competitions, we'll put the white ones on. And we always have a set of white boots and white overreach boots for um, the day shows. I tend to just use boots when I go to day shows because it's a little bit easier for mum to get them off. Um, she was kicked a couple of years ago, so she doesn't like getting around their legs. And these are what I'd use for a lesson. So just the normal colours. Oh, get in there. So they're just kept in buckets. Um, I have a whip, so they're kept in here for sausage, to passage. Um, and then we keep our ears in here as well. Um, so that is for when it's a little bit flyy. Is that a word? Not sure. That's when the flies are about. I'm going to keep them out of their ears. Um, also, these ones actually are soundproof ones. Um, one of my horses is quite sensitive to sound, so that helps him. Um, we have a spare head collar and a spare rope in case that breaks. Um, we have this, which has just got a chain running through it, uh, and it's for just tying them up at shows if we need to. Uh, but that is what that's what's in there at the moment. But obviously, when we go to the big shows or any show or any ridden thing, we put tack in. Um, so that's where that goes. So this locker is for washing them off. So that's why we've got a hose pipe in there. Um, and this is the bucket with the sponge and the sweat scraper. That always stays in here. Um, and so does the hose. So that one's pretty straightforward. Um, we're really lucky we've got hot water from this one. So when they're at a show, they can get washed off with hot water still. So that's that one. So this is the big locker, which I can actually fit in. Um, at the moment, you'll see there's nothing in there except for steps for me to get on. But there's loads of storage in here. So we put our haylage in here um, when we have it in the little bales. Um, and also our big trunk goes in here, which has all our numbers, bandages, drapes, um, loads of stuff, but I'll show you that later. So now I'm going to show you inside and show you all the stuff that we keep on the lorry regularly. Okay, so we're in the lobby. Um, the first thing is we have a radiator. We take this to away shows in case it's a little bit cold, um, but also we leave it on so it doesn't get damp in here when it's at home. Um, I always leave my hat on here, the show one, because I just get worried that I'm going to forget to put it on. So this one lives on here. Uh, and then in here, we have things like gloves, spurs, um, some ad blue, I think that is, some hairspray, a feather duster. Um, some dog leads and yeah, that's about that. Oh, and then um, we've got our broom for the lorry, umbrella that all stays in here. This is a rug that was from yesterday when I had my lesson. Um, Mum sometimes hangs, hangs the thermotex in here because the radiator's there and then it warms it up for them. So in here is the bathroom. Um, there's not much stuff in here. I mean, there's things like dressing gowns uh, and that stays in here. But yeah, this is mainly where I um, get ready before competing and like focus my mindset before I do it. We have just done a video on that actually about like um, pre-riding pet talk, um, like how to get yourself in a really good frame of mind. So that will be linked into this video. So the other stuff that lives in here is my show um, gear. So in the bottom drawers, we keep all the whites. Oh, it's flooding out. We keep all the whites. So that's where the jobs are um, and my show shirts. And underneath there are some towels. And then in these middle drawers, we collect a lot of random things, so I actually have no idea what's going to be in them. Okay, so um, I've got my music for the music classes. A lot of music. Some links. Is that a man's one? My mum uses male deodorant, don't ask me why. Um, flags for when I competed for Great Britain and will again in due course. A uh, little donut for my hair, um, stock hairbrush. Uh, hair nets, all that sort of stuff. Stay in their music. And then I'm pretty sure the other one is exactly the same. Just chaos of hair stuff. Oh, pseudocrine. Sun protection. Um, some painkillers. Yeah, all that sort of, all the things you feel like you need, you know that drawer at home that you have with everything in it? We have a lot of those in the lorry. Lipstick. <laughs> That's mum's, not mine. And then in the top one is the <laughs> show jackets. So I've got a few that I've collected over the years, I just never want to throw them away. That is my first short jacket. That was my second short jacket that I still sometimes ride in. Um, this is my new short jacket. And these are my new pails I got recently. 
So yeah, lots of jackets. Are we still rolling? <laughs> um, and then, oh, this is for when we we win. Mum would make some sarky comment like, oh, this never gets used. Um, I'm not going to, because I'm more positive. Uh, so this is for when we need a little glass of champers. And I also have a little custom made pillow that has the horses on it. So that's Wilfred, Barbie, Dexter, Wilfred again, and Eagle. And then, moving back. So this is the main living area of the lorry. Um, my show boots always stay on here. Uh, they live in here. And then, to be honest, all the other things, I mean, I could literally make a whole video on the stuff that's in our drawers. We have like tea, coffee, sugar, all that sort of thing. Um, what's in here? This is gonna be another drawer filled with stuff. Again, just, I hate that you're videoing in these drawers. <laughs> um, just music and stuff again. In here, cutlery, sky, but we don't even have sky. Um, yeah, that's that one. Um, and then in all the other cupboards, we've got like uh, plates, mugs, stuff. Um, yeah, and then where Theo stood, which is, is you can't really turn around, um, we've got the fridge and stuff, so I'll go that side now. Okay, so here is our fridge. Um, the pop out, the reason it looks a bit snug is we have a pop out, I haven't put it out yet. So at the moment, this does not have much except for gin and tonic. <laughs> That is mum. Um, and then I'm not sure why these dressings are in the fridge. That's my mum. Um, and there's some prunes at the back of the fridge. Not really sure why they're in there. And some John Smith tuna. I mean, John West tuna. John Smith. <laughs> um, and then the freezer, we will probably... Oh, no, apparently we have stuff in there. Ooh. I think mum has started packing ready for a show that we've got in three weeks. So before I did this video, mum was joking. She's like, do you even know how to pack the lorry? Because she has this thing of she has to pack the lorry. Um, she gets really like, um, yeah, really stressed if anyone else touches everything. So she was like, you're not gonna know how to do it. But I do, she's only taking the Michael. Uh, but yeah, anyway. Oh, and up here is um, the wine fridge, which is my mama's again. And we've got little wine compartments here. Um, and then up there is the bedding and that stays up there as well. So yeah, that's basically the main stuff in the living. In the front of the cab over there, we just have like test sheets and stuff, which always stay in here. Um, when we are going away to a show as well, we make sure the passports go in front of the lorry. So when we get to a show, they can check them, check the vaccinations, all that sort of stuff. Uh, yeah, but that's about it. So now I think we can start packing the lorry. Okay, so I'm just gonna drop the back so we can get into where the horses go because this is where we keep quite a lot of stuff. Oh. oh. So. Okay, so what we do is, this is where the horses will travel. We tend to only take two at a time. Um, the lorry can take four, but the weight actually goes over if we have four and it's fully packed for a show. So max we take three, but at the moment we're just taking two. So what we do is we use this last partition in here to pack some stuff. So in here, normally if we're going away for a long time, we will put, um, we'll take some shavings. Uh, but we haven't actually been doing that recently because the shows have been providing them, which has been working well. Um, but we will put our hay in here and our hay lid if we're packing it from our big bales. If we're taking the small little ones, we'll put them underneath the lorry. Uh, we'll also put our wheelbarrow here. with um, forks and stuff. This is why we have bungees. So they all get strapped in, locked in because we don't want it falling on horses. And then in here is where we keep the horse feed. So we have a few, a few buckets in here. 
already, so that's what we feed them in. Um, so mum loves to do the feed, uh, so sometimes she'll individually bag it up uh, if we're not away for too long, but if we are, she'll just take the big bags with us and make them as we go along. And um, we also take carrots and stuff because she loves giving them those treats. So that is what goes in here. Um, we do have rug racks up here, but we don't actually put any rugs in them anymore because we had a bit of a dodgy uh, accident when these pinged open when we went over something as well as a cable tie on there and a rug fell on a horse and then they got really scared. So we don't actually put our rugs in there anymore. Um, we put them in the front of the lorry. So this is my trunk. So this only goes on the lorry when we go to the bigger shows because we don't like it staying in the lorry because it could get damp. Um, but we do take it with us because it keeps everything clean and you do need a lot of numbness. When you say you've got two horses and maybe sometimes they're doing two tests in a day, you need a lot of whites. So um, we have our numbness here. These are wilts because they've got the fluffy bit around the edge. So we've got those. We've got some um, bandage pads for when I wear bandages. I don't tend to do that in the warm up as much. That's more for prize givings. Um, here is an exercise sheet to keep them nice and warm. Um, we have some bandages in here. We have more, oh, oh, that's a sad overreach boot, isn't it? Might throw those away. Um, we did have overreach boots in here, but that one looks a little bit worse for wear. We also have our stable drapes. I'll pull these out. Um, so these are, give the horses privacy when they're in their stables. Um, and then I think at the bottom, I'm trying to think what else we have in here. No, nope, it's just more and more numbness and bandages. So yeah, that's what's in there. So that lives in the big locker um, underneath. So next up, we need to fill the water tank. This is so that we can wash the horses off after they've competed or had a lesson. And also we can have a shower because that is very important when living with someone on a lorry. Um, so I'll just show you how we do that. Oh. Um, so yeah, we just have to make sure with this that we don't leave it when it's frozen because all the pipes will burst. So if it does get really, really cold, we have to drain all the water out of the lorry. Um, also after a big show, we tend to drain it all out anyway and then put fresh in for the next one. While we're here, we'll just go say hi to a pony because I can't go five minutes without seeing a pony. longer than normal. Um, this is Baby B. So normally if you blow at her, she goes like back straight away, but that one took a little bit longer. It's always when the camera's out, she's like, no, I will not perform. <laughs> I don't know why I find that so funny. I'll leave you alone now. Let's get back to it. So all that is left is to pack my bags and get those ready. So I just take normal stuff. There's nothing really special. Um, just like pajamas, extra clothes when I'm going around the shows, um, shoes, uh, iPhone charger, and all that sort of stuff. So let's go do it. Eey. So here's my bag, packed and all ready to go. And there we go. So I really hope you enjoyed the video and found it interesting. I wanted to ask you one thing before I went. As it's coming up to Christmas now, if you could ask Santa for one present for your lorry, what would it be? I'd love to hear your comments. So just pop it in the box below. Um, and yeah, make sure to like this video and I'll see you for the next one.